So don't you hate when someone makes a video called Six Ways to Make Music Income and you watch it and you go, yeah, but how does it really work? Well, that's what we're going to answer in this video. Hi, my name is Eric and I am a full-time music composer and producer. And in my last video, Six Ways to Make Music Income, I talked about how you can legitimately make income with your music. That video was mainly focused on music licensing, music publishing, as well as how to make money as a music artist and a music producer. If you haven't watched it yet, you may want to watch it first and it's right up here. This video will be kind of a behind the video look at how I personally make income with each of these or where I am right now making income with each of these six ways. So let's jump right in with number one, music for film, TV, advertising, or sync licensing. Okay, so I'm gonna be completely honest and say, while I made some income with this back in the day when I used to do jingles and music for small film scores and music for TV advertising. I've been making the majority of my income as a music producer for the last 20 years, but we'll get to how I make my income as a music producer a little later in this video, so stay tuned for that. About three or four years ago, I started a new brand called Positive Spin Songs. Focus completely on making music for TV, film, advertising, gaming, and general music for use. I started working with clients, partners, and my amazing team of Nashville session players, engineers, and vocalists to create a library to begin pitching specifically for music licensing. Last year, all the production and all the effort paid off with some pop songs signed to an exclusive library tied to Sony BMG, which led to more pop songs signed to them this year and then two more albums signed. And then recently I just signed another bunch of songs, country songs of all things, to another exclusive library. Over the last six months, we've had dozens of other songs signed to still a third exclusive library and we have others on hold. We've also had a song in talks with a company for a five-figure license, so that's pretty cool. So while it's been a good year with almost 100 songs signed with various exclusive libraries, the ball is rolling, but this is a long game, folks. There's no money in the beginning of this in most cases unless you are dealing with a company yourself directly and they are paying you directly. Most of the time you're going through a music library or through some company that is going to pay you later. In sync licensing, any upfront payments coming from libraries may take a while depending on when the upfront is received by the library and when the library pays those upfronts out to their composers. This could be quarterly, this could be bi-yearly. The back-end royalties paid through BMI or whoever your PRO is will come about nine months or more after the broadcast or use. And that's if the company reports it correctly to your PROs. So you need to subscribe to this channel because I'm not just starting this journey. I'm in the middle. I'm just in the pre-money phase. So if you want to figure out how income is going to happen with this, join me on this channel and we will follow the sync licensing adventure together. Also, make sure to check out the sync licensing playlist I have that just has some great videos from people I trust on how to work in the world of sync licensing. Now let's turn to stock music licensing. This is something I'm making money in right now, so I can talk about this as an income source for me. My full report on how I am doing will be in the next video because I'm gonna go into detail on how I went from zero to 600 a month in about six months with royalty-free libraries. That should be available right up here as soon as it's ready. Suffice to say, I'm pretty stoked to have some real income from licensing right now, every month that is paying the bills. And I've heard it said when you start paying your car payment and your electric bill with music income, it's real. Well, this is paying those things right now for us. I'll go through my entire journey on how I went from zero to $600 a month in stock music licensing. So make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified when that video pops up here soon. Also, again, I have curated some great videos for you to watch from people I consider the absolute experts in helping you make music income with stock music licensing. So make sure to check out that playlist on this channel. So now for all you artists out there, let's talk about music artist income. One thing I realized I omitted in the first video 
was income from digital music services like Spotify or Apple Music. But I think that is kind of obvious. Personally, I have two or three brands that make me semi-regular income with music from royalties from these digital music services. First, I have a jazz group called Player A Jazz, and that has been a lot of work over the past 12 years. We had a minor Billboard Top 30 single back in 2011, and we've continued to release music. The income stream from places like CD Baby, Distro Kid, and Song Trader on distribution is a tiny stream. I still usually get about $100 from CD Baby about every two or three months, and about 50 bucks from Distro Kid whenever I pull it out or it has accrued up to that point. Performance royalties also bring in some income from this, but not as much anymore. When we had National Jazz Radio play, BMI paid quite well, but truly only a little bit more than I paid for the radio promotion. So it all evens out. I also have a brand called Quiet Soul Piano. This makes much less from distribution to digital music stores, and I see about $25 every few months, and also a little bit of money from sheet music that I sell. So my main thrust with the last video concerning music artist income was and is gigs and sales at gigs. I still believe that getting paid for gigs and then income from table sales of your CDs and merch is still the best income an artist can get. Now, I don't have much interest in gigging, but this may be something that you really want to do. And if you do, this can certainly be a sizable income, especially if you are serious about booking yourself and finding places to play and you have product and merch to sell at your concerts and at your gigs. Maybe this is already your main income as an artist doing gigs and selling product. And if so, great. And I'm sorry because it's really hard. I do have some artists that I want to interview on this channel that make significant income from their gigs, from their sales, from their merch, from their YouTube. So subscribe to this channel and hit the bell. And so when I do those interviews, you'll get to see them. The next topic I talked about in the six ways video was how to be an internet music artist. One of the things I suggest to my clients, my songwriters, my artists, especially if they can't or won't tour is to start a YouTube channel and build a following by making videos and building a following. You can sell products, find audiences to go sing for, and maybe even monetize your YouTube channel in a few different ways, like revenue from YouTube ads, affiliate marketing, and sponsorships. You can even sell product from your pages, from your YouTube channels, and get people over to Spotify and Apple Music to stream music. In some ways, this channel and all my YouTube channels are possible income sources for my music. So what I meant in the previous video was any way you can make music income on the internet, whether that means a YouTube channel or Instagram or Facebook or LinkedIn or Pinterest, whatever it is that you use, whatever platform works for you. I have one artist that had her best year ever last year by doing Facebook live videos with a virtual tip jar link to her PayPal. And that was during COVID. Now, internet marketing is an ever changing landscape. And so by just keeping an eye on this channel, we'll be talking about these things, how people are making money on YouTube and how they're making income with their music on YouTube. There are some really interesting channels out there and ways for people to make music, put it on YouTube and find a way to monetize that. So we'll be talking to them on this channel. So make sure you hit the bell and subscribe if you want to be following that kind of stuff. Music publishing is really the oldest way to make music income, but it's kind of the trickiest, especially nowadays. The funny thing is this was really the first hope I had for my music. Sure, I played a gig here and there, but I was mainly focused as a teenager or 20 something on finding that music publisher who was going to recognize my genius and sign me to a music publishing deal, which is what we all want, right? Well, probably like you, I'm still looking for one. Now, in some ways, I've gotten several music publishing deals with these music libraries through licensing. So I've kind of realized the dream a little bit in that way. And like those music libraries, when you get a music publisher interested in your songs, that doesn't mean income right away unless they sign you to some kind of deal and give you money up front as an advance. But publishing income comes from your PRO, from BMI or ASCAP or CSAC. 
And my PRO checks are pretty small, at least right now. I meet regularly with the head of publishing for a major label and he tells me what he sees here. And an interview with him is coming up, so subscribe for that and other music publishing videos that I wanna make for this channel. So as I hinted at earlier, I have made my income throughout the last 20 years, especially as a music producer, uh, also composing and arranging, but being a music producer, being a consultant for people who want to have their music produced, being a marketing company for the productions that we make, and a pseudo record label for artists for about the last 25 years. It was never meant to take over my life or supplant composing as my main activity, but it has fairly reliable provided income for me and my family for the last 20 years. Now, how I built this music production business from the ground up is the subject of a another video that I'm gonna make so I can devote the entire video to how to build a music production business. Not only that, I literally wrote the book on music production for the independent client, and I'll be publishing that book, kind of an updated version of it, very soon, and you'll be able to find it in the description below or in future videos when I talk about music production. As I said, I have videos about how I built my music production business coming up, and I'll probably do some vlog updates about that and release this music production book soon. So subscribe and hang out with us to see all of that as it comes. Now there is probably a music video coming with six or seven or who knows how many more ways to make music income. We could talk about teaching, we could talk about church music leading, we could talk about arranging, sound design, beats, all sorts of stuff like that. And we'll be talking to people like that as well and how they make their income. There's no wrong answer as long as you're getting paid to do something you love, especially if it can be part of your music world. If you have ideas on other ways to make music income that you'd like me to talk about or people you'd like me to interview, please make sure and put it in the comments below. It's a big music world out there with lots of opportunities, so let's all make music income together. And if you haven't seen the six ways to make music income video, you can see it right here. Thanks for watching.